Next thing. Die daily to yourself. Amen. Crucify your flesh. If you want, if you want to overcome pride, boasting, and all those things, crucify yourself. And you got to do it daily. See, you just can't crucify yourself just on Sunday mornings. That's the problem right now. We got Sunday morning Christians. Hallelujah. Don't even come to Bible study. Amen. I mean, you, you just satisfied with just Sunday morning service. I'm just going to be seen. And you think God ought to be happy that you're here. Lord, I gave you one day. Well, he gave you seven. Now, who should be happy? Hey, amen, amen, amen. But you got to die to self. Die to all the things that are contrary to the word of God. And the only way you're going to know it's contrary to the word of God is that you study. Now, and you don't have to come to church to study. See, that's the fallacy. You only want to wait until church starts that you get the word. And the Bible says you ought to study daily. Amen. Because the only way you're going to correct the misbehavior in your life is to get in the word of God and find out for yourself. Amen. Some of the attitudes that you possess. Oh, my God. I'm, seriously, I'm, 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 I'm like. Should I even go there? I mean, some of the, some of the, some of the, some of the, the, the issues, issues that y'all have in your hearts. And, and, and God said, that's not love. When something come up in your, in your heart, ask the question, is this love? Some of the hatred, some of the unforgiveness that come up in your heart. Is that love? If it's not, then you got to correct that thing. And the only way you can correct it is by seeing it, seeing yourself in the mirror of God's word. See, that's why people don't want to study. It's because once I see it, I got to change. Because you're accountable then. Once you know the truth, the Bible says it will make you free if you want to be free. See, some see it and say, okay, I won't see that. Oh, Jesus, I don't want to see that one. It's like they done seen the ghost. It's like, ooh, I don't want to see that one. You know? And once you see the word of God, you have to change. Amen. But you got to be willing to die to self. Man, when you start seeing the things in your life that are contrary to God, and you start, you start opening the book, and, and find out that God wants better for you, then what you going to do? Okay, John 15, watch this. Now, now here, here's, here's a choice for you. Here's a choice for you. If God said that the thing that is hindering your love walk that you can either change or come home to be with me, what would you do? I mean, if you had a choice to either change the thing that's hindering your love walk or go home to be with the Lord. I mean, and you, you know, all of us want to stay here as long as we can, you know. But, okay, let me just read the scripture. John 15, verse 1. I am divine. My father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. He taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth what? God wants more from us, Brother Pew. And it's all about our love walk. I mean, and he's trying to cut some stuff off of us that's causing our love walk to go astray. See, God is trying to make the crooked places straight in our lives. I, I, uh, can I be honest with y'all? Lately, I've just been having a, a, a serious challenge uh, 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 with people, you know, because there, there, there are people who think that they are superior just because 
and I've been, I've pastor been having challenges in that area lately. So I had to tell Sister Winch, I say, I say, baby, you have to pray for me right now, because right now I've been having these challenges that I've been getting uh, a little upset, and I'm like, now I'm talking about love, and here I am getting frustrated and been out of place behind people. Now, 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 you think I'm preaching to y'all, but I'm preaching to myself. Because that thing have to be corrected if, my, if the way is going to be made straight. No. I wanna. See, see, y'all just want to have a happy time at church. Happy church, happy church. Make me feel good. Give me the organ player back. Give me the organ player back. Now, now watch this now. My heart was never like that, but I have allowed something to creep in to make me feel that way. Hey, God said, you got you to check that thing. Say, what? The preacher, the pastor? Yes, you're preaching your pastor. Because this thing is, look, either we're going to walk this thing out like God says, or let's all go home and watch the Cowboys Hopefully win. <laughs> <Let's say, laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. But I, but I found myself, you know, and then there was a, there was a, there was a time, there was a time a while back, many, about four or five years ago, I found myself upset with my children a lot. You know, just upset with my children. Like they couldn't get nothing right. And then I had to check myself. And say, hold up, hold up. They, they can't be doing that much bad. You know, and I start, I, you know, I start taking stuff out that, that, that I was, you know, start thinking about my past. Well, look, that, that's what happened to me, so I'm going to make it happen for them. And it was like, hold up a second. Now, that, that, they don't deserve what you've given them. So I had to check myself. Yeah, check me. Because, cause, no, 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 watch this. Look, you heard it growing up. This is my house. And as long as you're in my house... Don't go by my, my rules. Okay, well, see, see, that goes into that selfishness again. See, because it shouldn't be your rules. It should be God's rules. Amen. And so God says, now, I need to teach them, train them. Now, now, now if they deserve the corporate punishment, co- praise the Lord, they're going to get it. But every situation is not corporate punishment time. So I had to check my heart on that because my first thing was, what a belt. Come on, come on, what a belt. You know, and, and you know, Matthew got a little larger now, so I got to, praise the Lord. <laughs> my arms are hurting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but I had to think, okay, 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 okay. Is he doing all that bad? Or, or is it just me just nitpicking? Now, now, the Bible says that we could provoke our children. Okay, so, so you had to look at that. All right? Now, you have, to, you have to look at your own life and evaluate your own life. These were two areas that pastor had to deal with. Now, I'll give you another real quick. Before my father died, I had, a, you know, I tell you all the time, I, I, I did not like my father. I held unforgiveness in my heart toward my father. And God said, you got to correct that. How can, you, how can you teach my people how to forgive and you ain't even done it? You, you used to have all of those issues, those issues in your life. And right now, some of you sitting here today, you got the unforgiveness in your heart. And God said, now, is that love? Is that love? I mean, you still hate your ex-husband. And it's been 20 years since y'all been together. You know, and, 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 and you can't even move on. Okay, it's like, it's, it's like you having a big old iron cast ball on your leg. And every time you try to move, you got to pull that thing. It's dead weight, but you steady pulling it. And all you need to do is get the clippers of God's word and cut the chain off. But you, but, but you, know, why, you know why you keep it? Because you've been conditioned now that this feels good. 
I can deal with this now because after all, I've been dealing with it all my life. So I'm just going to keep on pulling it because now it's just a part of my wardrobe. 